The following portion of Studio 512 is sponsored by Austin Telco Federal Credit Union. Are you interested in refinancing your home loan or maybe tapping into your home's equity? Pamela Cotton, Vice President of Member Services at Austin Telco Federal Credit Union, is here to tell us more. Pam, what are the benefits of refinancing a home loan? Yeah, there are actually, that's a great question because there are great benefits to do that. Let's say the rates were really high when you first purchased your home and now they're low. So you want to refinance. That's going to actually save you lots of money uh, in interest over the term of the loan, right? And then you can also reduce or increase the loan term. Let's say you have more money now than you did when you first got the loan. Reduce the term, that's definitely going to save you money over the long term of the loan. Or maybe you need a little extra money. Um, from month to month. Increase the term that's going to lower your payment and that'll help you with that as well. And then it provides access to the equity that you have in your home. Maybe you bought your home several years ago. Now there's lots of equity there and that's a good way to utilize that to pay off maybe higher interest debt as well. Absolutely. Okay. What should homeowners be aware of when they are accessing the equity in their home? Yeah, so there's a couple of ways for them to do that. Um, a home equity loan, as we talked about, that allows you to access the equity there. And then there's a cash out mortgage refinance. So you would um, get your existing mortgage loan and borrow additional cash on top of that so you have one loan. The home equity loan, you would actually have two separate loans, so you're going to have two separate payments. So those are the things you want to consider ah. when you're determining what you want to do there. And then the way you determine the equity is you take your home value, multiply that by 80%, and then subtract your mortgage balance. That's going to tell you how much equity you have or how much you have access to. Gotcha. Okay. How about some tips to avoid having your mortgage locked in as a home equity loan? We like the home equity loans. We just yeah. don't want that to be our mortgage. Yeah. See, and the difference there in the home equity loan, in Texas, you're only allowed to have one home equity loan at a time. Ah. And also when you finance a home equity loan, you have to wait 12 months before you can get another one. So the way to get around those things is, let's say you're buying a new home. If you're fortunate enough to have enough equity to get that, do two separate loans. Get the mortgage loan and a home equity loan. Um, or if you have an existing mortgage loan and you want to access that equity, don't combine it into the existing mortgage. Get a separate home equity loan and have two. And again, whenever you're doing a loan, you want to understand all of the terms before you sign on that dotted line. You want to know exactly what you're signing for, right? And then let's say you happen to do that. There is a way to actually get that home equity loan back to a mortgage loan so you don't have those stipulations there as well. Okay, lots of information today. We appreciate it, Pam. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. To learn more about all the services Austin Telco Federal Credit Union has to offer, visit atfcu.org. The preceding portion of Studio 512 was sponsored by Austin Telco Federal Credit Union.